Hi there, it's Morgan Wood. Today I'm gonna try and recreate a makeup look from drag queen Trixie Mattel. I guess I would say Trixie is one of my favorite, most well-known drag queens. And in some ways my makeup is already inspired by her, but I'm gonna try and do a specific look of hers now. Let's get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and blocked my brows and covered up my beard. So let's get started on the eyes. So I'm gonna use my neutral foundation color and just swipe that over my eyebrows and blend that out. This just helps to cover up the eyebrows some more and gives us a nice base to work on. So first I'm gonna outline the eye shape using a skinny brush and a water activated black. I'm gonna mark the high and low points of the eye shape and then join the dots. Okay, that's kind of gray, but that's fine because we're gonna fill it in and redefine it later. And now I'm already diverging from what Trixie does in this makeup. I'm gonna use a blue shadow on this kind of flat brush and I'm gonna Pat it on here, leaving a space between the black and the blue. So I'm tapping the eyeshadow on rather than spreading it. Since what's underneath are my real eyebrows, I don't want to disturb them by being too vigorous. Then using this fluffy-ish brush, I'm going to feather out the edges. I'm gonna do a similar thing on the under eye, but first I'm gonna add some foundation so that I have a base and it's easier to join it in with the rest of the foundation later. Okay, then using the same blue, I'm gonna do a line here. And the aim is to get it kind of in line with this upper black line. Now I'm gonna take a slightly darker blue and intensify the inner edge of this line. And finally, with a little bit of black, just adding that to whatever is on the brush. And again with a fluffy brush, just to marry those three colors. So with this white cream on a little stubby brush, I'm gonna clean up this line between the black and the blue. So what this is doing is creating the illusion of the lid, which is in fact on my eyebrow, which is crazy. <laughs> and I'm not worrying about that black line underneath because I'm gonna go back and redraw it when I fill it all in. And then we're gonna do the same under the eye with this white. It's gonna fill all of this space and take the white out between the black and the blue. Okay, I'm gonna set all of this white with a white eyeshadow on this stubby but still fluffy brush. This will ensure that we don't turn it to gray when we add the black eyeliner. Now I'm going back with my water activated black. Careful not to dip it in my drink. And I'm gonna redefine this eyeliner. Now to fill in all of this eyeliner, actually I'm gonna use my finger because I've got such a big area to cover. Mm, isn't that satisfying? Then I'll top all of this with some black eyeshadow just to keep it in place and make it more intense and black. So now that I've done the eyes, I'm gonna move on to the foundation. I'll start by swiping on my neutral foundation color, just putting it all over. I'll make my sponge slightly wet and then blend that all in. That's pretty even. I'll take my highlight color. The spots that I'm highlighting are a bit more limited than usual since the eye makeup takes up so much space. Okay, and now the contour, which is in some ways the most iconic part of Trixie's makeup other than the eyes. She has a very severe cheek contour. So because I want to get a very sharp line, I'm going to use a brush instead of the stick itself. So I'm loading that up with some of my contour shade. And I'm gonna draw a line from almost the bottom of my ear to almost the corner of my mouth. And try and match the other side. And using the brush, I'm gonna blend the product up. So you see we have this almost triangular shape from the bottom of the ear to the corner of the mouth. And while I'm using the brush, I mean, why not? I'm gonna use that for the rest of the contour. So across the forehead, joining the corner of each of the eyes. 
and the jaw. And using a sponge, I'm just gonna marry the colors. But we're gonna keep this hard line here. So let's set for this. And I'm gonna use a sponge with my baby powder just because it gives me a bit more precision. I don't wanna mess up all of this eye makeup. And then work that in with a brush. So let's intensify all these contours. So I'll use my short stubby brush, my contouring brown. Go over this line here. side. Make sure they're even. And then with a rounder, fluffier brush, same color, and bring it up. And the same on the jaw. And on the nose. And here joining the nose contour with the bottom of this blue eyeshadow. And for blush, I'm going to use a red-ish eyeshadow on the same brush that I used for the contour, just so it's not completely brown. And for even more colour, I'm going to use another brush in this very bright pink. Now for some highlight, just here between the eye and the blush, bridge of the nose, above the lip. In between the eyes, and I almost forgot, I'm going to bake in this corner here to intensify the contrast between the contours and the highlight. Okay, it's now time to draw the lips. Trixie does a pretty high arch with not much of a dip in the cupid's bow. Then I'll fill in with this fuchsia lip paint. Smells so good. Don't eat it. Then take some of my highlight foundation, tap it in the middle, and add a little pink highlight to the center. So that's the finished makeup. I've put on lashes, including some little bitty bottom lashes, as well as a little bit of glitter. Obviously, this is my version of Trixie's makeup. It's not exactly the same as what she does. Uh, I've made some adjustments for my style, my preferences, for according to what kind of makeup I have and what suits my face. I'll go put on a wig and an outfit and show you the full look. And so this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with this transformation. As you can see, I made some of my own adjustments to the makeup. It's not exactly like Trixie's, but um, I think it's pretty recognizable. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss new videos coming out. And also follow me on Instagram, Morganwood Callisto. I'd love to hear from you what you think of my Trixie Mattel look. Oh, honey. Honey.